Why are planets round in shape? Simple, because Aumsum is also round in shape. Oh, Aumsum! Planets are round because of the force of gravity. Gravity acts as if it originates from the center of a planet and pulls each point of the planet towards it. Hence, the only way for everything on the surface to be equally close to its center is to form a round shape. However, planets are not exactly round. They are actually spherical in shape. Hmm. What is the Big Bang Theory? No idea about the theory, but the Big Bang looked like this. Oh, um, some. The Big Bang Theory states that our universe began from a very hot and compressed point, which is also known as a singularity. Based on estimations, it is said that approximately 13.7 or 13.8 billion years ago, a singularity violently exploded. This explosion is called the Big Bang. Scientists claim that from this explosion or Big Bang, space, time, energy, matter, and then stars, galaxies, humans, etc. came into existence. How is a black hole formed? That's so simple. Amsum forms it. Oh, Amsum. In a star, huh? the inward force of gravity is exactly balanced by the outward force created by hot gases and radiation. When the star runs out of fuel, this balance is lost and the star's core begins to collapse under its own gravity. This collapse causes the outer layers to blow apart in a huge explosion called a supernova. Now, it is estimated that if a star has at least 20 times more mass than our sun, then the star collapses to form a black hole. Hmm. Does a black hole huh? slow down time? No ways. Only Amsum can slow down time. <laughs> oh, Amsum! According to the theory of general relativity, time slows down near a black hole due to a phenomenon called gravitational time dilation. This is the effect a gravitational field has on the passing of time around it. Now, as a black hole has a very strong gravitational field, a clock near it will tick slower as compared to a clock which is far away from the black hole. Hence, a person near a black hole will age slower compared to someone far away from the black hole. Hmm. Why is the huh? space black? Simple, because Aum Sum looks awesome in black. Oh, Aum Sum. According to a study, the space appears black because the universe is expanding. This expansion is causing the visible light emitted by the stars to stretch out so much that when it reaches our eyes, they cannot detect it. As our eyes cannot detect any visible light, the space appears black to us. Moreover, light has a specific speed limit. So, light from faraway stars has not even reached us. Thus, the space appears black. Hmm. Why is Pluto not a planet? Simple, because now Amsum is officially a planet. Huh? Huh? Oh, Amsum! According to the new definition of a planet, a planet is a celestial body which is in orbit around the sun. It is spherical in shape, and it has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Now, Pluto is in orbit around the Sun, and it is spherical in shape. But unfortunately, Pluto has not been able to clear its neighborhood. As in, it has not been able to remove the asteroids and dwarf planets present around its orbit. Hence, it is not called a planet anymore. Why doesn't Earth have Saturn-like rings? Earth doesn't deserve those rings. Only Amsam does. Oh, um, some. It's got to do with Roche limit. It is the distance at which objects tend to be ripped apart by the planet's gravitational pull. Now, in case of Saturn, it is popularly believed that a celestial body like Moon or Comet got too close to it and exceeded the Roche limit. Hence, it got ripped apart into pieces, thus forming its rings. <laughs> now, Earth also has a Moon. But since it is beyond the Roche limit, it doesn't get ripped apart into pieces to form rings. Hmm. Why does Saturn have rings? No big deal. Om Sum's rings are bigger. Oh, Om Sum! One theory suggests that Saturn's rings are remnants of celestial bodies like a moon or a comet. Billions of years ago, a celestial body may have got too close to Saturn. Hence, the side facing Saturn 
was pulled more strongly as compared to the side facing away. So, this inconsistent gravitational pull may have ripped apart the celestial body into pieces. Finally, these pieces might have started revolving around Saturn, thus forming its beautiful rings. Hmm. Why is Mars red in color? Simple, because I painted it red. Huh? Oh, Om Sum. Mars actually has many colors. On its surface, we can see many different colors like brown, gold, etc. Then why does Mars appear reddish? The simple reason is that the Martian rocks, soil as well as dust, contain a lot of iron. This iron reacts with the atmospheric oxygen and forms iron oxide. Now, the huge dust storms on Mars kick the soil as well as the dust into the atmosphere. Thus, from a distance, Mars appears red in color. Hmm. What if Earth huh? started dancing? So what? Amsum is the best dancer. Oh, Amsum. Firstly, if Earth started dancing, humans will not be able to stand still anymore. Hmm. Secondly, if Earth started dancing, Earth's skyscrapers might start huh? breaking down. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth started dancing, Earth may start spilling its water on its neighbors. Hmm. Why do astronauts huh? keep floating in the spaceship? They're not floating. They are swimming. Oh, Aum Sum. In vacuum, gravity causes all objects to fall at the same rate. Hence, in the space station, the astronauts and the objects are also falling at the same rate. Now, as the astronauts and the objects are falling together, they appear to float as compared to the space station. Wait, but is the space station also falling towards Earth? Yes, but as it is moving at just the right speed, the curve of its fall matches the curve of the Earth. Hence, the space station keeps falling towards the Earth, but never hits it. Hmm. What is a supermoon? No idea. But this is super omsum. Oh, omsum. Huh? Supermoon is a full or new moon that nearly coincides with perigee. Perigee is the moon's closest point to the Earth in its monthly orbit. This results in a moon which appears larger than its usual size when observed from Earth. The technical name for the same is perigee syzygy, as in roughly straight line configuration of Earth, Moon, and the Sun. The term supermoon is attributed to astrologer Richard Knoll. Out of the possible 12 or 13 full or new moons each year, usually three or four may be classified as supermoons. Hmm. How is the moon formed? Simple. Amsum built it brick by brick. Oh, Amsum. According to the giant impact theory, Theia, a Mars-sized body, collided with Earth. This collision threw chunks of Theia as well as chunks of Earth's crust into space. Now gravity bound these ejected chunks and led to the formation of our moon. According to the co-formation theory, two similar-sized bodies collided twice forming an early Earth surrounded by a disk of material that then combined to form the Moon. According to the capture theory, the Moon was already formed. It was just snapped by the Earth's gravity while it was passing by.